happy Monday to you. Emily Bloom in for Chris Crocker. Big story for us this evening is going to be those winds. As we take a look right now, coming out of the northwest, anywhere between about 5 to 24 miles per hour here in Spokane. Unfortunately, those winds just aggravating the situation for the wildfires in our surrounding areas. Air quality at the moment is moderate. We've seen some improvement from where we were at this past weekend. A uh, big story right now that we are tracking is going to be the rain that is headed our way. Taking a look on the west western satellite radar right now, you can see it pushing through the very northwest tip of Washington and southern Canada. That is what is headed our way. As we put the 24 hour forecast in motion, increasing cloud cover in the overnight hours tonight. And then by tomorrow morning at about 8, 9 a.m., we see some isolated areas of rainfall through Deer Park, Spokane, and even through Bonners Ferry and Sand Point. Now it's Boundary County, Bonner County, uh, Pond Array and Stevens that are really set up for what we call wraparound rain. That is because of those slow moving thunderstorms. Uh, they could see some isolated areas of up to one inch of rain. Uh, outside of that, we're looking between about a tenth to a quarter of an inch. Because of those isolated areas of activity and the slow moving thunderstorms moving through northwest Washington and the northern part of the Idaho Panhandle. They do have a flash flood watch in place at the moment. Difficult to see on this map, uh, but it is shaded there in dark green. That's something we'll keep a close eye on for tomorrow. So the four things you need to know, breezy and gusty for us today. Time to pull in the patio furniture, close the sunroof, pull out the umbrella. Uh, showers and thunderstorms are going to be the story for us on Tuesday. Much cooler beyond that though. Our high for tomorrow is 73 degrees. Uh, later on in the week, we have a high of 80 and outside of that, not getting any much warmer. And then we do have another chance of showers on Friday and Saturday. Too far out to say with any kind of certainty, but it's something that we will keep an eye out for.